Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm gonna give you a quick tip for how to make some bongos sound great without using your hands, using some of my favorite tools that I bought at Sur La Table, a cooking implement store, cooking paraphernalia. I don't know, Sur La Table. It's a store you go buy kitchen stuff, cooking stuff. I like to cook, I hope you do too. And I got these and I'm super excited about them because obviously it features a smiley face, which is kind of one of my things, um, if you know what I mean. And these are really nice for playing some different hand drums. Let's get into it a little bit more here. Um, so you've got the high drum over here and you can, you can hit these things right near the edge, like right about here, about halfway down. And you get the sound that's similar to how we would normally play the bongos, which is with our fingertips here. Yeah, similar. I'm gonna say that smiley face actually sounds better than I do right now. Um, I'm not warmed up, so you gotta give me that. Uh, this is great for the high drum to get that edge tone. And it's great for the low drum to get a full open sound. And on the low drum, I'm playing more inside the head. If I go back here, it just kind of sounds thin. So you want to move on to the head. Speaking of the head moving on, I'm, I'm about, about to lose, he's about to lose his head. But, um, you know, you can glue that on. That's a great sound. That's a little bit better sound. <laughs> Really similar. So I love these things. They're inexpensive. They're fun. Great for music education classes or recreational drumming classes. If you want to use bongos, and I recommend putting your putting the bongos on a stand if you're going to have people who are not experienced with percussion and drumming, I wouldn't make people try to hold the bongos. It's a little bit difficult. That takes a little bit of training and practice. But bongos on a stand, get some of these spatulas. Um, and then when you're not using them for drumming, you know, you can use them for cooking. Who knows what you'll cook up? By the way, there was a book that Congo, uh, Congero and band leader Pancho Sanchez wrote, and it has something to do with cooking. It's like cooking Pancho Sanchez, cooking with congas or something, conga cookbook. And uh, you can look it up. And not only is it a great book instructionally for congas, but he includes recipes, and I love that. Like every chapter, there's like a recipe for a Cuban food or Mexican food, you know, some kind of Latin American inspired food. Um, pretty awesome. <laughs> so two of my favorite things, drumming and food together in one book. So look that up, Pancho Sanchez. If you're not familiar with Pancho and the Pancho Sanchez band, now you got some homework. Look up Pancho Sanchez, listen to the music, practice along. I practice a lot of congas and bongos with Pancho Sanchez's recordings because they're great, straight ahead, very clear, good. Re anyway, just go look it up. Okay, so uh, spatulas on the bongos. Tell me what you think. If you've done this before, uh, you could use these on similar size drums, similar tune drums, maybe on a smaller djembe or bigger spatulas on a bigger djembe. I don't know, do whatever you want, but <laughs> I think this is a great tip. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, I, I like these because I don't think you're gonna damage the drums. I would not normally uh, encourage people to play the bongos with sticks or anything, unless they're your bongos and you wanna play your bongos with sticks. But if, they're, if you're just giving instruments to other people, these are gonna keep the drums safe. It's gonna keep people's hands safe and feeling good. The only caveat is I would, is I would uh, watch the sound volume because when people get sticks, they can exert a lot of force and play much louder, of course, than they could with their hands. So if you're concerned about that, maybe do something to mitigate the lo sound level, like cover the head with a little bit of cloth or something like that. Other than that, um, recordings, you know, for those of you that are making recordings, go ahead, go for it. Try these out in the studio. Um, when you're recording, you can do a lot more things than just play with your hands. It's not limited to just the traditional techniques. So I love this as an ad adaptation. Um, for people who need uh, a little bit of assistance accessing the bongos and even for you as a professional or you're, you're making a recording um, to access them as well. All right.
Give this a thumbs up if you like it. Who doesn't like the happy guy, the happy face? Uh, I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in a future lesson.